How to recognize signs of oral cancer Oral cancers of the mouth and throat account for about 2% of all cancers diagnosed each year in the U.S. Early detection and timely treatment of oral cancers is important because it greatly increases the chances of survival. For example, the 5-year survival rate for those with oral cancer that hasn't spread is 83%, whereas it's only 32% once the cancer spreads to other parts of the body. Although your doctor and dentist are trained to detect oral cancers, recognizing the signs yourself may facilitate an earlier diagnosis and more timely treatment. The more aware you are, the better looking for physical signs. Examine your mouth regularly. Most cancers of the mouth and throat cause some identifiable signs or symptoms during their early stages, but not all do. In some cases, cancers don't cause symptoms until they've reached an advanced stage. Regardless, doctors and dentists recommend that in addition to regular checkups, you should carefully look at your mouth in a mirror at least once a month to check for any abnormal signs. Oral cancers can grow virtually anywhere in your mouth and throat, including the lips, gums, tongue, hard palate, soft palate, tonsils, and insides of the cheeks. Teeth are the only parts that can't develop cancer. Consider buying, or borrowing from your dentist, a small dental mirror in order to help you examine your mouth more thoroughly. Li, brush your teeth and floss before examining your mouth. If your gums normally bleed after brushing or flossing, rinse with some warm salt water and wait a few minutes before examining. Oral cancers can grow virtually anywhere in your mouth and throat, including the lips, gums, tongue, hard palate, soft palate, tonsils, and insides of the cheeks. Teeth are the only parts that can't develop cancer. Consider buying, or borrowing from your dentist, a small dental mirror in order to help you examine your mouth more thoroughly, brush your teeth and floss before examining your mouth. If your gums normally bleed after brushing or flossing, rinse with some warm salt water and wait a few minutes before examining. Look for small white sores. Check all around your mouth for small white sores or lesions, which are called leukoplakia by doctors. Leukoplakia are common precursors to oral cancers, but they are often misdiagnosed as canker sores or other small ulcers caused by abrasions or minor trauma. Leukoplakia can also be mistaken for bacterial infections of the gums and tonsils, as well as candida yeast overgrowth in the mouth called thrush. Although canker sores and other ulcers are usually very painful, leukoplakia errant typically, unless they're in advanced stages. Cankers are most common on the inner lips, cheeks and sides of the tongue, whereas leukoplakia can be anywhere in the mouth. With good hygiene, canker sores and other small abrasions and cuts usually heal within a week or so. In contrast, leukoplakia don't go away and often become larger and more painful with time. Although canker sores and other ulcers are usually very painful, leukoplakia errant typically, unless they're in advanced stages, cankers are most common on the inner lips, cheeks and sides of the tongue, whereas leukoplakia can be anywhere in the mouth. With good hygiene, canker sores and other small abrasions and cuts usually heal within a week or so. In contrast, leukoplakia don't go away and often become larger and more painful with time. Watch for red sores or patches. While checking the inside of your mouth and back of your throat, watch out for small red sores or patches. Red sores lesions are called erythroplakia by doctors, and although less common than leukoplakia in the mouth, they have a much greater potential for becoming cancerous. Erythroplakia can initially be tender, but typically not as painful as sores that look similar, such as canker sores, herpes lesions, cold sores or inflamed gums. Canker sores are initially red before ulcerating and turning white. In contrast, erythroplakia stay red and don't go away after a week or so. Herpes lesions can occur in the mouth, but are much more common on the borders of the outer lip. Erythroplakia are always inside the mouth. Blisters and irritation from eating acidic foods can also mimic erythroplakia, but they're quick to disappear. Any red sore or lesion that does not go away after two weeks should be evaluated by a medical professional. Canker sores are initially red before ulcerating and turning white. In contrast, erythroplakia stay red and don't go away after a week or so. Herpes lesions can occur in the mouth, but are much more common on the borders of the outer lip. Erythroplakia are always inside the mouth. Blisters and irritation from eating acidic foods can also mimic erythroplakia, but they're quick to disappear. Any red sore or lesion that does not go away after two weeks should be evaluated by a medical professional. Feel for lumps and rough spots. Other potential signs of oral cancer include the growth of lumps and the development of rough patches in the mouth. In general, cancer is defined as uncontrolled division of cells, so eventually a lump, swelling or other growth will appear. Use your tongue to feel around your mouth for any unusual lumps, bumps, protrusions or roughened patches. In the early stages, these lumps and rough spots aren't typically painful and can be mistaken for many things in the mouth. 
Gingivitis swollen gums can often cover up potentially dangerous lumps, but gingivitis will usually bleed with brushing and flossing. Early cancerous lumps don't. A lump or thickening of the tissues in the mouth can often affect the fit and comfort of dentures, which can be the first sign of oral cancer. Always be concerned of a lump that keeps growing or a rough patch that spreads within the mouth. Rough patches in the mouth can also be caused by chewing tobacco, abrasions from dentures, dry mouth lack of saliva and candida infections. Don't ignore pain or soreness. Pain and soreness in the mouth is typically caused by fairly benign problems, such as cavities, dental caries, impacted wisdom teeth, inflamed gums, throat infections, canker sores and poor dental work. As such, trying to distinguish these causes of pain from potential cancer is very difficult, but if your dental work is up to date, then you should be suspicious. Sudden, severe pain is usually a tooth, nerve issue, and not an early sign of oral cancer. Chronic soreness or achy pain that gets worse with time is more concerning, but is still often a dental issue that can be easily remedied by a dentist. Gnawing pain that spreads around your mouth and causes the lymph nodes around your jaw and neck to get inflamed is of significant concern and should always be looked at immediately. Any prolonged numbness or sensitivity of your lips, mouth or throat also warrants more attention and investigation.